What's quickest in a drag race? The new Lamborghini Huracan Storato or a Porsche 911 Dakar? Well, we're gonna find out because I'm gonna race them over the standing quarter mile. I'm Matt Watson and you're watching Car Wow. Buy, sell, car, wow. Now let me tell you about this Storato. So it's based on a Huracan, but it's got some major changes. Lifted suspension, knobbly tires, and some extra body cladding to cope with bashing about off road. It has a 5.2 litre naturally aspirated V10 engine like a normal Huracan. And in this car, it puts out 610 horsepower and 560 Newton meters. Driving all four wheels via seven speed dual clutch automatic gearbox with launch control and a special rally mode. Although we're actually racing on tarmac but there's always a tarmac stage to a rally isn't there this thing weighs in at 1470 kilos though lamborghini only quotes dry weights because they sound more impressive than wet weights the actual wet weight with fluids and stuff is probably going to be about 1600 kilos the price about 230,000 pounds now let's see how this car compares to that 911 dakar and driving that is racing driver sam so, racing driver Sam, give me the stats on your car. I'm quite excited. I'm in a 911 Dakar. So this is a three liter twin turbo flat six, 480 horsepower, 570 newton meters. It's all wheel drive, eight speed PDK, which is the best gearbox in the world. 1600 kilos, so big old heavy lump. And it is 173 grand, so it's a whole lot cheaper than yours. It is, but I'm wondering which looks the best. I think apart from the horrible lights on the front of this, which make it look like some kind of Tamiya radio controlled car that was actually rejected and never went on sale, I like the look of this a bit more than the Porsche. Yeah, so that's kind of got the pretty like superhero looks, but this has got that nostalgic Porsche rally car look, isn't it? That everybody just harks back to. And it's got the Rothmans livery, which you had on the original Dakar, but obviously they can't have it as Rothmans because A, it's a brand name and B, it's a brand of cigarettes, which is a no-no. So they've called it Rough Roots. But people will just read it as a cigarette brand. So it's kind of a pointless task, isn't it? Yeah, I'm not gonna get involved in that. Now, if you want to compare the car stats side by side, just pause the video. Now, before we race, let's just do the customary car wow sound check. So I'm gonna rev up this 5.2 liter natural aspirated V10. Nice. Nice. That Porsche will not sound as good. Let's hear what you've got, Sam. Uh, soft limiter. That trick's not working either with the two paddles, which is a bit weird. That only works on the GT cars. What you can do though, is put it into launch control mode and then like sort of rev it in launch control. Give that a go. It's not really much better, is it that? Just to rub it in. Yeah, like have some of that. So this sounds faster and we're gonna find out if it is actually faster. What's your money on? I don't know. I mean, just sitting here, that looks faster. But this is a Porsche and it does really weird things to everything that it shouldn't beat and it does so. But we are on these knobbly tires, so it'll be good to see which control system can figure it out the quickest. We're about the same weight. Your car has how much horsepower? 480. Oh my God, I've got more. I've got like 130 horsepower more. Same torque, but a lot more power. I think I'm gonna win. I'm just gonna go with the power figure. Let's go win. I've got everything off. I'm not talking about my clothes though, just like the control systems. So have you got actually everything off and not that silly little 20% layer of TC? I pulled a button down, it said no ESC. I'm trusting it. Three, two, one. Come on, Lamborghini! This is dicking on the Porsche. Sorry about that. Wow, that was beaten, wasn't it? Yeah, you thrashed. Like, launched side by side ish, but this just absolutely destroyed you once we were moving. Quite pleased with that. And the traction from these knobbly tires on this tarmac was actually really good. It was good, but I'm wondering, can I do a better job? And I don't, this sounds really arrogant than Porsche's launch control, because nobody ever has. But I just wonder with the height of this car and these tires, can I have another go just trying to manually launch it? 
So no launch control. If I were you, I'd almost come out of rally mode because I think that might make it a bit slower. I don't know why I'm saying that. Oh, I do. It's because of this video. If you click on the pop-out banner up there, follow the link in the description below, you'll see me actually race that car, drag race it on mud, and all will be revealed about the whole rally thing. But let's, let's just see what happens if Sam can do a better job by doing something different. So Sam is busy practicing his different technique. Be interesting to find out what it is. But I don't think that whatever he does is going to make up for that power deficit the car has. Why didn't they just give it the Turbo S power? That would have been so cool. And they could have done. They just decided not to. Yes, I know I've got no ESC. It's fine. Don't panic. Okay then, Sam, would you like to reveal to me exactly what your tactic's going to be? Well, I've taken it out of rally mode because when I was going along, it started lowering itself in the drag race. So I wondered if that takes something out of my airflow. And then I'm going to launch just using the brake and the accelerator and see what I can do there as well. Because I wonder, can I keep the revs up a little bit higher? And you are going to, what, shift manually? Let it shift? I'll let it shift because this can shift a lot better than the human can. So I'll leave it in D. I think that will be fine. But everything else I'm going to try and do myself. And stability all the way off. That is the first thing I do when I get in any car. I did say about rally mode, it seems to be like slower at launching. It really does. I mean, you're smarter than Porsche's engineers. Yeah, I mean, rally mode is probably designed for loose surface, isn't it? So there's no point allowing maximum power down. I guess that's what that was. So it's probably a different map. And yeah, I just hoped I could get the revs a bit higher and it worked. But you know the rules, best two out of three. It's gonna be close, it's gonna be so close. No, I'm done. We can leave it there. Absolutely no chance, me old mate. Two out of three. I think that is a fair result right there, isn't it? Yeah, I actually got a better launch that time. I think this did really well off the line though. It was just that 100 odd horsepower just took it past you, didn't it? Exactly that. So then what exactly happened? Well, the Huracan Storato won, completing the standing quarter mile in 11 seconds. The 911 Dakar took 11.2 seconds. Okay, now we can have a rolling race from 50 miles an hour. The cars are in their normal settings. So that's Strada for me. And what is it for you? Normal. Okay, right, here we go. Automatic mode. Three, two, one, go. Come on, race to the half mile. So my kickdown wasn't as good as yours, Sam, clearly. Yeah, as usual, you got PDK'd, didn't you? But that's it, and the power just wins, doesn't it? Exactly, but what I noticed there was, as I was hooning it down the runway, the car was like weaving about crazily. I think it's the knobbly tires, <laughs> it's just like all over the place. But then, just before like you came to a standstill, there's that strip across the runway, which is a bit of a bump, and in a normal Lamborghini Huracan, it'd be like quite jarring. This just like floated over it. I guess that's its job, isn't it? Not that you'd ever take a Lamborghini off-road, but you know, you can now if you want. I really, really want to take this off-road, but I don't think the owner, Ken Shakes Cars, by the way, follow me on Instagram, links in the description. I don't think he'd like it, it's brand new. Anyway, let's remove the kick-down gearbox shenanigans from the equation and let's do another rolling race. Okay, let's do it. Manual mode for the gearbox, 50 mile an hour roll on, sporty settings. Okay, that's 50, here we go. Three, two, one, go. Out. 
Okay, so I clearly won there. Your pickup was really good for a turbocharged car, though. It was right on boost, wasn't it? Tell you what, for the power difference, you did not beat me by enough. I think credit to this car, it's amazing. I'm a little bit nervous about the next thing, the brake test. Uh, uh, we've got to do it though, right? Yeah, <laughs> it's hard enough to slow down gently, isn't it? I don't know what's going to happen. Okay, let's do it, I'm frightened. This is the most frightening brake test I've done in a long time. Okay, let's do it. Brake test from 100 miles an hour. When we reach the line, full emergency stop. Car that stops at the shortest distance wins. Here we go. That was pretty close, but you did win. Yeah, that was amazingly close, wasn't it? Porsche though, Porsche do it good, don't they? Yeah, they do. I was actually looking over at your tires, like with the ABS, like kicking in and out, and like smoke coming off them a bit as well. <laughs> it's quite funny. I was watching yours the whole time. It was like four marshmallows trying to hold your car back. It's amazing. Sam just wants to go and have a little bit of a victory drift round a tree. <laughs> Now, if you want to watch some more videos, click on those windows there. And if you want to see how much you can get for your car, if you're trying to sell it, you can do it through CarWow. All you have to do is upload some photos, give a brief description, then dealers all across the country will bid on your car. It's simple. <laughs> Anyway, I hope he's less than tyres on that car. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> yeah, I think you like that.